been cheated. When you need help, she's on your side. Better call Bacon. Investigator Shannon Bankin kept up the pressure at a Newport Ritchie apartment complex until management agreed to fix broken elevators. Now, these elevators stopped working during a lightning storm. This was a major concern because the apartment is popular with disabled residents because of its access to elevators. Well, when the elevators stopped working, some of those residents were left stranded inside their apartments for weeks. That's when they knew they'd better call Bankin. And investigator Shannon Bankin joins you now with an update to this story. Well, last week, management promised me that they would have these elevators all fixed within two weeks. So I gave them a couple of extra days, and then today, I showed up unannounced. Just going to the store is a treat. After weeks of being stuck on the third floor because his apartment elevator was broken, William Cooper finally has his freedom back. And I like even going down where the edge of the pond is because it's such beautiful wildlife down here. I jumped into this elevator disaster at Summer Lake Villas after residents reached out to me for help. A lightning storm knocked out service to 11 elevators, leaving disabled residents stranded. Some, like Cooper, were forced to use ambulance transport services to get downstairs for emergency care. That's ridiculous. I went to the Pasco County Commission for answers. I pressed department managers for answers. And on day 17, Cooper's elevator was the first one fixed. I'm very happy for it, and I thank you for all the work you did for it and getting it done. I went back a week later to check on the rest of the elevators and found them working. And Gail McDaniel finally able to get down from the second floor. Yeah, we'll have all my freedom back now. McDaniel was trapped for more than two weeks and had to miss several important doctor's visits. For her, the elevator started working again just in time. I was so trapped in this apartment that I couldn't hardly really take it no more. We saw several people using the elevators while we were there, and they all told us that these elevators are the reason why they chose this complex, so they're so happy. I'm sure they are. Yeah. I mean, and, and this is one of those that you just kind of had to stay on for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering, I remember in your original story that there was some licensing issue. They needed updates on the elevators. Have the inspections happened? They point? have not happened yet, but they are in the process of happening. And this place, they had let those, those licenses lapse, so they had to pay a lot of fines. They still have to pay a lot of fees just to get the state back out there to check them so we'll still keep following up on that but for now they do seem to be working and everyone's happy so and far cabin fever over Absolutely. for these residents mm -hmm. all right thank you shannon now if you have a problem that needs solving you better call bankin the number is 1-855-BANKIN and something extra on thursday from 5 to 7 30 p.m we are having a special better call bankin phone bank we want to help reunite viewers with unclaimed cash, and there's a lot of it out there. The Office of Financial Regulation tells us there's more than $280 million in cash waiting to be claimed just in the Bay Area. The number is 1-800-528-0808. You can call between 5 and 7.30 p.m. this Thursday.